I wanted to do an extra bonus speak them this week for you guys. I, you know, I've been talking to some people and they, a lot of people watch these videos. It doesn't get as many views as my Dragon Ball content or my movie content, but people who do watch these videos are very loyal to them because it helps them get through things. And that means the most to me. We talk about real life stuff on here. We don't talk about like, you know, nerd culture. That's other videos I do. We talk about addressing real life issues and my perspective on things. And a lot of folks have told me for the past couple of years, maybe even longer than that, that this is their favorite video series I do because it really tackles things that they might be struggling with and things they might have on their mind. So I wanted to make a speak them here about loss and how loss can make you grow. You know, uh, when it comes to losing something, or losing at anything in life, it's going to happen. You can't possibly go through life without suffering some kind of loss. I know it might not be a real thing to some of you, especially the young ones out there, but at some point you will experience this, whether it be losing a sibling, a pet, or eventually your parents. It's going to happen. I don't want to make you think about it today and have it ruin your day, but at some point your parents will not be there. At some point they will pass away most likely before you do. It's a hard thing to think about. And you should definitely treasure every moment you have with them. Because one day you won't be able to experience anything with them. But you should treasure the moments that you can now. Treasure the moments that you can with your loved ones. With who you're dating. If you're married. With your children. If you have that. Because at some point they will leave the nest. Or a breakup might happen. And you may never see them again. But the one thing about loss, because loss sucks. Loss, heartbreak, pain, these things are not good. In some ways, heartbreak is actually worse than physical pain in some instances. And the only positive that comes from loss, because there is a positive here, and I want to get y'all to think about this, is growth. Loss equals growth. You know, I heard that when I was younger. In my 20s, I heard that. And I didn't really understand it until I lost my mom. And she was, I was 22 when I lost her. So it was pretty early in my 20s. But it didn't really resonate until a little while after. You know, when my mom passed away, it really affected me. And still affects me to this day. You know, I have major abandonment issues that go all the way back to when I was a kid. And when my mom died, even though she didn't really, quote, abandon me, when somebody leaves your life, it triggers those same heartbreaking abandonment issues if you have abandonment issues. Even though, like I said, it wasn't like she betrayed me, she died. Now, in some ways, she kind of did betray me, though, because I begged and pleaded until since I was seven years old for her to quit smoking. And she couldn't kick the addiction. Wound up getting cancer because of the smoking and dying. So in a way, I did have a lot of resentment towards her because I felt like she loved the cigarette more than she loved me. And the only way to get through that is to go to therapy or to really have a lot of, you know, meditation and really come to terms with the fact that addiction, when people are addicted to something, and I might do a different video about this, addiction can really, really affect you and can change your brain patterns. To where the addiction, feeding the addiction is more important than even loving your own children. But that's a different story. But when she died, I remember I got really into religion. And I was able to find my faith. And I was able to find at the time something that I wanted to believe in. And it also brought me closer to my friends. And it helped me grow as a person because I was able to understand the power of loss. You know, and then later on in life I lost my father. When I was 29. And then even after that, there have been very strong relationships that I've had that have been lost. And it's a very difficult thing to deal with. But the thing about heartbreak and breakups and deaths, anything involving somebody you love no longer being attached to you, is that there will come a period of growth afterward. Whether it be because the breakup happened and you're trying to figure out why it happened. You're trying to figure out what you did wrong. You're trying to figure out why you did those things. Especially if you did something that's uncharacteristic of you, which I have done. You know, I've made mistakes where I've let my insecurities and my temper take control of me. 
and I have pushed loved ones away. People who I deeply, deeply loved. Because when you have these insecurities on top of like loneliness and other feelings, when you're kind of bottled up in emotions, you tend to do stupid shit. You say things you don't mean. You say things in the moment and unfortunately sometimes you can't take them back even if you apologize. You know what I'm saying? It's not really on you at that point because as an adult, if you apologize, especially if it's something uncharacteristic, you should be forgiven. But sometimes you won't be, you know, and that's unfortunate. But what ends up happening after that, though, is you go through a period of growth. You start to go through this period of depression, loneliness, mourning. You go through the grieving process. And as you go through it, you start to kind of rediscover yourself. You start to rediscover and do things that make you happy. And trust me, I know a lot of people will say this to you when you go through a breakup or when your parents die or your brother dies or whatever. They will say these things to you. They'll say, you know, and I'm talking about, by the way, just to clarify, when I say loss, I'm talking about extreme loss, not like I lost my job or I mean, that could be devastating too. Or I lost that, I lost that call of duty. We're talking about a real loss here. We're talking about a real fucking loss. You know what I mean? Loved one, relationship, whatever. Friendship even, a long friendship, you know. You go through a period of growth and discovery to figure out what it is that you did wrong. And sometimes you have guilt. Sometimes you don't have guilt. Sometimes it's partially your fault or partially their fault or even not your fault. But you still, a fully functioning adult should sit there and say, okay, what did I do? What did I say and why did I say it? That's when you go through things like you go to therapy or you go and try to discover yourself. Or you go and try to talk to somebody and you read, you study, you do research and figure out exactly what it was you did wrong. That's the time when you go and you try to improve yourself in as many ways as possible. So that way, for the next person who you have in your life, the next strong relationship or friendship, in order to have that person stay with you forever, you're going to be a better person. You're going to make yourself a better person. And when you make yourself a better person... You will then be able to feel more confident and then at that point you won't make as many mistakes. And this could take several months and even in some cases several years. Because I feel like self-discovery and self-improvement is something that never really ends. You know what I mean? It never really ends. So you go through your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s. I'm not in my 40s or 50s yet. But I will tell you that. I know based on how my brain works and how most human beings' brain works that are functioning that by the time you get to your 40s, you'll look back on yourself in your 30s and say, damn, I was such a fool. Why did I do that? I would never do that now. And then when you turn 50, you'll look back and say, oh man, I can't believe I made that mistake. What was I thinking? Why wasn't I considerate? Why didn't I think about this and that? All that has to do with growth. Loss equals growth. So next time that something happens to you where you lose something, whether it be a heartbreak or your parents, you have every right to cry. You should cry. Because if you don't cry, you're not human. If it's something that meant a lot to you, if it's somebody who you truly, deeply loved, who you had plans with, if they go, you have every right to cry and cry a lot. There is no shame in crying. If anybody tells you there's no shame in crying, I'm sorry, if anybody tells you that there's shame in crying, or tries to say it's beta or whatever, there's a very good chance they're either very immature or they're narcissistic or they're sociopathic. Because it's just, it's not a humanistic, realistic perspective. Fully functioning, healthy human beings have to mourn. If you were close to your mom and she passes away, you are going to cry. Even if you were a little close to her. If you were very close to her, you might cry a bit longer. If you're in a relationship and you find this girl who you think is the one, you put everything into this relationship. You put your love, your heart into it, and she goes. Or there's a breakup that happened. You, it hurts, and you have every right to be sad. Every right to be sad. And you should be sad. You should live in that emotion. Not forever, but you should try to cope with it as best you can and try to learn from it as best you can. And learn so that next time 
you'll either find a better partner for you or when you find that when you do find that better partner or if that partner were to come back at some point you get reacquainted with them you'll be a much better person and hopefully they'll be a better person if that ever even happens but the important thing to remember is that whenever you lose someone in your life that's the best chance to grow and find yourself and try to become the best version of yourself that you can be try to become the best absolute best at everything you do your career your physical condition the way you treat your friends and family and always remember that it's almost like you're getting an opportunity to hit the reset button on your life and do the best that you can moving forward loss equals growth and even if we're talking about non-major loss like if it's like for example, like the Michael Jordan documentary where he talked about losing to the Orlando Magic when he came back from retirement the first time and how it pushed him to work even harder the next season and then they beat him in really badly in the next season. You know, when you lose and you're very competitive, you want to be a winner next time. So that, again, helps you grow. It makes you a better athlete or a better, you know, competitor in whatever you're in, esports, whatever, whatever. So just remember that loss equals growth and that's the best thing you can do is grow. Cry, take time to cry, take time to mourn, take time to be sad, but don't forget to try to grow. And you will because it's something that just happens to people. It just happens to people. In some ways, it can happen a little bit, it can happen a lot, or it can happen in phases, but it happens. So the best thing to do is just accept it and be the best version of yourself that you can be.